हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू मींस ऑफ फिजिक्स वी विल कंटिन्यू आवर थर्मोडायनेमिक टॉपिक एंड टुडेज लेक्चर इज लेक्चर नंबर फोर इन थर्ड लेक्चर वी स्टडीड अबाउट the change in internal energy of the system and first law of thermodynamics today we will study about the system variable and difference between the intensive and extensive variable and also we will study about the thermodynamic equilibrium so let us start then what is the system variable system variable when a temperature of the system that get change at that time its pressure volume that get change mass change density change and that variables they are called as system variables pressure volume temperature mass and density these variables are called as system variables and these are the macroscopic variables and these variables system variables they are divided into two categories intensive variable and extensive variable then what is the intensive variable and what is the extensive variable intensive variable and extensive variable intensive variable variable and extensive variable extensive variables consider a large sheet of glass this is a large sheet of glass that sheet is having a refractive index mu that is equal to 1.5 now this glass sheet is broken into the number of the pieces and all these pieces they are having refractive index 1.5 means size of system is large then refractive index is 1.5 and size of system becomes small then refractive index is also 1.5 means this variable refractive index that variable it does not depend on the size of the system and this variable is the intensive variable this intensive variable is a variable which do not depend on the size of system again we can consider a second example suppose this is a glass of water and this is a bucket containing water then the density of this water in cgs system that is 1 gram per centimeter cube this size of system is small and this size of system is large but the density of both the objects that is same means this density variable it also does not depend on the size of the system and that variable is called as intensive variable understood and therefore first point about the intensive variable it do not depend on do not depend on size of the system size of system then extensive variable again consider a glass of water and a bucket containing a water then mass of this glass of water and mass of this bucket of water that is not equal understood this mass is small and this mass is large means mass is a variable it depend on the size of the system if size is small variable is small size is large variable is large again volume of this water that is small and volume of this water that is large 
means mass, volume, these two variable, they depend on the size of the system. Understood? And therefore, extensive variable, they depend on size of system. Depend on size of system. And therefore, these variables are called as extensive variable. Then what are the examples of intensive variable? Just now we studied refractive index. Refractive index. Then density. Pressure. Temperature. Viscosity. Specific heat, molar energy, all are the examples of the intensive variable. Then what about extensive variable? Then mass, volume, internal energy, internal energy, if compression is there, internal energy is positive. When expansion is there, internal energy is negative. Means internal energy depends on size of the system. Then all types of energy. All types of energy. All types of energy. And number of moles. They also depend on size of the system. And this is the difference between the intensive variable and extensive variable. Got it? I hope you better understand this difference. Then one formula or one shortcut is also there to keep in mind the intensive variable and extensive variable. That formula is extensive variable. Divided by extensive variable that is equal to intensive variable. Intensive variable. For example, density is intensive variable and mass is extensive variable and volume is also extensive variable. Means mass upon volume that is equal to density. These two are the extensive variable and density is the intensive variable. And this is all about the system variable and extensive variable and intensive variable. Okay. Then next topic is thermodynamic equilibrium. Thermodynamic equilibrium. Thermo dynamic equilibrium. A system is said to be in thermodynamic equilibrium when it satisfied the three conditions of equilibrium simultaneously. Then first condition of equilibrium that is mechanical equilibrium. Mechanical equilibrium. Mechanical equilibrium. Second condition that is chemical equilibrium. And third condition that is thermal equilibrium. Thermal equilibrium. Okay. Then what is mechanical equilibrium? Suppose this is a system. And this is system. And this is environment or surrounding. When no unbalanced force acting in between system and in between system and surrounding. At that time we can say that system is in mechanical equilibrium. We know that the pressure that is equal to force per unit area. If force is constant, area is constant, pressure is also constant and when the pressure of the system remains constant and pressure in between system and surrounding that also remains constant at that time, we can say that system is in mechanical equilibrium. Understood? Means there is, there is a no unbalanced force or pressure of the 
this system remains constant at that time we can say that this system is in mechanical equilibrium okay then second condition chemical equilibrium suppose this is the system and this is environment or surrounding and when there is a no chemical reaction acting in between the system at that time we can say that system is in chemical equilibrium or there is a no transfer of matter due to the diffusion at that time we can say that the system is in chemical equilibrium or chemical composition of the system remains same throughout the system means chemical composition of system remains same at that time we can say that it is in chemical equilibrium that does not change with time at that time we can say that system is in chemical equilibrium and thermal equilibrium when the temperature of system and surrounding that remains constant and it does not get with the time at that time we can say that the system is in thermal equilibrium and when these three conditions of equilibrium they satisfied simultaneously at that time we can say that system is in thermodynamic equilibrium understood and to maintain the thermodynamic equilibrium the system changes in the system they occurs very slowly and when changes in the system occurs very slowly at that time that system is called as quasi static process understood that process is called as the quasi static process where the changes in system are infinitely take slowly then system is quasi static system or process is quasi static process i hope you will get understand the you get understand the system variable intensive variable extensive variable and also the thermodynamic equilibrium okay please like share and subscribe my channel if you have any suggestion comment then put down in the comment section below also press the bell icon to get notified about my upcoming videos thank you okay.